And they're going to Yoshi's story. Let's see if it's uh who's gonna get the better on this stage. Spears six back at it again with the light pink link. And he uh only lived for about 15 seconds. Together so doing what uh, so few other people have been able to do today, and that is actually Edgeguard 6. So Ghetto apparently being wise to his uh, tether shenanigans. That leaves uh, Sigeto in a pretty, pretty significant advantage. Oh, wave shines by Sigeto. Shine spike on the hook shot. Now this is really important, not just because it gets the stock, but it limits Six's options. Because next time he will go for a tether, he will think, oh, I can do this and that, because, you know, last time it went horribly wrong. For example, trying to fake out someone's timing by just staying still on the hook shot. But a nice gimp with the Nair, and it's at least one stock. Although he is still over a full stock behind. Bomb to grab. Oh, he reads the tech inwards instead. The ghetto text in place. Unfortunate for six because he needs everything he can get right now. Gets the first air to look smash. Double up air. Let's go for a third one, but it backfires. Spin attack not hitting. Okay, he went high. Jumping on the hook shot, it was good, it was good, but Fox was just a little bit too quick. Knocked him all the way to the other side, continued his edge guard. Excellent stuff by Six. Grabs him, waits for the bomb, gets a nice combo out of it. And a down throw to Spin Attack, that looked like true combo. Six is fighting back, that's something I noticed when I see Six play. Usually, the longer the games progress, the better he gets. But Sagetto is not letting up with these wave shines. Six just keeps being pushed into a corner by Sagetto. After which Fox's back air shines just cover everything Six would like to do because Sagetto Sagetto is wise to his tactics. But the up beat out of shield. Fantastic up beat out of shield, one of the best in the game. Decently quick and it can kill. What more could you want? Using a bomb to cover his recovery, smart stuff. But the getup getting covered by Sagetto, and there is no hope. He lets himself drop. Sagetto takes it with one stock. Okay, he switches to Green Link. Let's see if it helps. Final destination it is. Okay. Nice juggles by six, but together gets out and immediately gets an incredibly punishing combo that puts six in Edgar's position. Double shine spike, the second one was unnecessary, but why not if he can do it? And Zagetto, as expected, takes the lead in game two as well. But Six is definitely fighting back. Bomb to dash attack to down air. More powerful link combo from Six. Tries to get him with the grabs, but that's a risky game. Now that's interesting, the Boomer's actually reflected but Link didn't care and he caught it. So apparently reflecting the boomerang doesn't really do anything for you in this game. Mixes up his timing, no shines by Force and Ghetto, but he will get the dash stack up air. A 140, that's more than enough. And again, to Ghetto with a full stock lead, or almost a full stock lead. That's basically what we've been seeing. That's basically the distance to Ghetto has kept from six in terms of stock and percent count. But uh, Six is losing, looking to close that gap. Boomerang in between. Excellent combo into Nair. It's strong enough to just flat out take the stock. No edge guard required. 
even amount of stocks, but the ghetto, slight advantage in percentage, making it to a big advantage in percentage. And in the chaos, Six messes up his tether. Very uncharacteristic, but uh, hey, it can happen to the best of us. Leaving him at only one stock, and the ghetto is still comfortably up to you. Crazy combo by Six, but that up smash uh, was not the right choice. Slightly misplaced. Up tilt into down air. <laughs> it's gotta be enough to take Fox off from the side. That move is crazy. 60% on Six. Both at last stock. Oh, the jab reset? And he continues the juggle. What are these link combos, dude? Ooh, we saw the Ubi Adesu come out. But the shine just a little bit too quick. Bomb into forward air. And the down air. Six takes a game of Segedo. 1-1. One, one. And Segedo takes him to Pokemon Stadium. Which is odd, because many would argue that this stage is most similar to FD out of all the other legal stages. And FD is a stage where Segedo just lost. Of course, it is different, but right now we can see that uh, Six is definitely making use of. The okay, that illusion was totally missing, boots. No doubt in my mind it should have been a shine. Wave shines. Together with the edge guards. An excellent shine spike on the hook shot once again. Zagato has been doing that better than anyone so far in this tournament. Actually contesting 6 of recovery. But he reads the illusion and is ready with a spin attack. Go rank the bomb, 30%. Zagato saying I can do that better. Ooh, the normal get up after the mistake covering the down smash. But still, every time Zagato rolls away, 6 is ready with one of the dash attacks, which pops him up for a nice combo. There into four there, no text by Zagato. The tree saving him right there. If he had been hit on the other side, it would have been curtains. He gets hit by the hook shot. Allowing six to escape from edge guards of Zagato. Up air not gonna do it. Up air significantly weaker than down air. As we've seen multiple times. But at 166, there's nothing that's gonna save you. Up air. Gonna take the stock. But if Segato plays this card right, he should be able to immediately take the stock off 6 with any move. Soft Nair, almost enough, but again he gets hit by the hook shot before he can set up his edge guard. The bomb reflected, and he combos out of it with a back air. It, it wasn't just disrespectful or a gimmick, that reflect was actually a legitimate play right there. Setting up for the kill. Sakurai is just really happy somewhere right now. Ooh, shine spike. Okay. It didn't went straight down, but it uh, it went sideways and down, which is still usually enough to uh, take out your opponent. So, two smash attacks and Fox is at 43. And reading the tech away. Six has been getting so much mileage out of setting up a tech with one of the like, sword moves like down tilt. And then he just gets the tech away. And Sigedo has been going for tech away almost every time in a situation like that. Uh, Link is slow, but he is just fast enough to catch up with the dash attack, which sets up for a combo that can lead him to death because of the incredible power of down air. So, six taking the league here. He is ahead by one in winner's quarters. It is a best of five, so he has to do it one more time if he wants to advance to winner's semis. And Segedo is definitely not gonna let that happen for free. However, six with the edge guard and the soft nair. The deepest of soft nairs. 
ghetto at six at the ledge. This is where you gotta get his mileage. Just push him in the corner. Becker gets hit by the hookshot again. But Six messing up his catapult channel. He wanted to jump on with an aerial, but he went too low and dropped to his death. He tries to use an arrow because uh, that's fun, I guess. But uh, of course, arrows being absolutely pathetic is does nothing for him. The bombs getting reflected everywhere now. Even the ones that Link tried to throw upwards. A pair, not enough. Okay, they're playing a dangerous game by the ledge. Back throw to put him off. But Link jet back using the boomerang. Oh, the duration of the spin attack just long enough to cover the attack in place so that the weak hit would send him off. But it was enough to take the stock, which allowed Zagetto to turn the tides and gain the lead. But stick with the immediate answer. Completely even game here. Both a two stock, just a couple of percent. Wave shines into up smash, big damage by Segedo. Six trying to find his way out of the corner. Again! Segedo with the adaptation, he's using a lot of his reflector now on these bombs and it, it's working out for him. It sounds like a casual strat, but it's legit working out right now. Roll <laughs> to go for his recovery, classic sick stuff, but Segedo having none of it, he gets the edge guard on the second event and Styx is now a stock behind. But Segedo reading the situation just a little bit wrong, overextends and he gets hit by what looked to be a crowd cancel spin attack. Oh, jab reset. The damage on that forward smash is crazy. Look at these juggles. He's already up to 82%. Spin attack, sweet spot. Segedo will live. What is that? And he lands on him with the down air and that's it? Zagato goes down 3-1 to 6.